painting really full speed for about 11 years without a real job for about six. The thing I love to do most is paint. I mean, I enjoy doing shows because I get to meet collectors one-on-one. -on -one. That's really a lot of fun. But if I could, I would just paint full time and let the business take care of itself. To my aesthetic taste, there needs to be a focal point. Find that intersection and that would be it. My favorite is always upper right. If you go to the museum and look at some old work, you'll find so often the focal point is in the upper right hand quadrant. And there's a sort of introduction into the painting from the lower left hand quadrant. I felt compelled to paint. I don't really know how to explain it. But about 10 years ago, it was just like compulsive. I couldn't resist it anymore. I had a friend who was one of those big, bully, intimidating types, and he had gotten through his whole life intimidating people. And here he is, you know, 55 years old now, he's still intimidating people. Uh, and he called me on from his cell phone once, having gotten into a fight on the freeway with a complete stranger. And so I'm sitting on the phone, drawing a picture of him. And that picture became the first painting of this series. This, this initial stage on the paintings, is probably going to be aesthetically unpleasing because I want to have the base color a significantly different value from what the final is going to be. You know at that stage, at this stage, I'll use a whole lot of the liquid so that it'll be easy to get it, get the composition completed, and I know that it'll be dry overnight. I paint with my fingers a lot. And I'm sure this oil paint is probably killing me. It's not a pleasant product. Acrylic, on the other hand, is, a, is very user-friendly. No fumes, no, it's almost hypoallergenic. It's so user-friendly. But it doesn't do what I want. You're familiar with Rene Magritte. I recall reading that he had a series, you may recall seeing that had a an opened umbrella, vertical, with a glass of water sitting on the peg. He painted about 70 or 80 of those paintings. And so I know that on some level he loved that they sold, but on another level, I'm sure it bugged him that he's reproducing the same thing. Before I painted all these years full time as a, a career, I didn't understand why so many would pr produce so many things in that similar vein over and over. It seemed charlatanism in a way, but now I see it in a different light. You know? I think the first time I really appreciated that idea of working so much on one seemingly repetitive uh, series of work was Mondrian. He painted that series for over 20 years with basically no change. Really? Over 20 years. When he died, he had at least 20 of them in process. He had this little, almost like a factory line of, of paintings at various stages of completion. And he had taken many of them and, and the only correction he had made was the narrowing or widening of one of the little black lines in there. He was so focused on the perfection of the balance of this painting. And you realize he wasn't doing these over and over to sell them. He was doing them because he had a vision of perfection of art that was like nobody else's. 